Welcome to Multiclassing Tips Guide, you creative bastards. Goal of this video is to provide some info regarding which would be best class dips while leveling, meaning couple of levels into another class to get better benefits compared to single class all the way. Not talking here about 8, 9, 10 levels into another class or anything like that. Just couple levels to get more out of the build. Thanks to viewers on streams that were helping with input. I'm sure there are other great multi-class dips that I'm not aware of yet as there are too many options in Pathfinder. In this type of video I'm bound to miss some things, but as long as it is helpful I am fine with it, so feel free to add more options in the comment section. Goal is to help players after all. Let's start with one of the most popular multi-classing options, Alchemist with Sectionist. One level into this subclass unlocks mutagen that boosts physical ability, sneak attack dice and feat accomplished sneak attack. Almost every martial build gets benefits from one dip into Vivisectionist, including some spellcasting classes like Arcane Trickster. Oh yeah, one level also unlocks useful level 1 spells such as Enlarge Person, Reduce Person and Shield. Next on the list are Raging classes, Blood Rager and Barbarian. Martial builds love to rage because of additional attack rolls, damage rolls and will saving throws. Blood Rager is typically better option because it has bloodline feet that offers nice benefits such as good aligned attacks for Celestial. Also by going for Draconic Bloodline Dragon Disciple Prestige class is unlocked after requirements have been met so you can play as Dragon. Cavalier Beast Rider is awesome one level dip. This unlocks animal companion of your choice and tactician ability that grants teamwork feat that you can pass on to whole team for a couple of rounds which can be incredibly useful. Cavalier of the Po that is halfling specific subclass and two levels offer all the benefits of Beast Rider. More bonuses from challenge and danger ward that grants bonuses to saving throws and enables reroll of failed saving throws. Fighter Mutation Warrior 5 levels or even just 3 is great addition to most martial classes. Bonus feats, mutagen at level 3 and weapon training at level 5 are straight up fantastic. Couple levels or even 5 if you wish into armiger is also quite good. Armor training, better will saving throws, order choice. Inquisitor Deep grants Judgment that is helpful for almost all classes. Even spellcasters can find Judgment Piercing very useful to overcome spell resistance. Magus Eldritch Archer allows spellcasting and attacking with weapon as full round action. Fantastic addition to archers that can also cast, even if only defensive spells. Add on top of that arcane pool that enhances equipped weapon. Sword Saint allows adding intelligence modifier per Magus level to armor class, enables casting of spells in same round as attacking, unlocks weapon focus for one level and has access to arcane pool for additional weapon enhancement. Plenty to like. Scaled Fist Mock is very popular choice for a reason. Adding Charisma bonus to armor class while unencumbered and unarmored can lead to some nasty combinations with Archmage Armor Mythic, Shield plus many buffs. Not to mention you get Flurry of Blows that adds another attack to main hand, making Monk frequent multi-class dip for light 2 weapon fighting. Monk feat is nice addition too. Student of Stone for Oriads is quite nice 3 level dip with traits such as adding wisdom to armor class, flurry of blows, passive protection against critical hits, bonus to attack roll, damage roll, combat maneuver bonus and combat maneuver defense while touching the ground.
three levels into Mogs and Archery is fantastic for bow wielders due to bow focused feats, flurry of blows for bows, key abilities, extra attack and perfect strike. Adding wisdom instead of dexterity to attack rolls can lead to some powerful combinations with wisdom based casters. One level into Oracle to get Nature's Whispers Revelation is a great addition to any Charisma based class because it adds Charisma to AC that stacks with Scaled Fist Monk Charisma bonus to AC. Add two levels of Paladin to add Charisma modifier Semitros and you got yourself one tanky bastard. Revelations are really good generally, so there are many options here to explore beside Nature's Whispers. Two or three levels into Paladin grant Smite Evil ability. Charisma modifier added to saving throws, immunity to fear and diseases. Divine Bond is also unlocked at first level which enhances weapon with plus one. One level into Ranger Freebooter unlocks Freebooter's Bane ability that when put on an enemy grants two Ranger and allies plus one to attack and damage rolls. One level into Rowdy Rogue for vital strike focus builds is almost mandatory. Free Vital Strike feat and added 2d6 sneak attack for Vital Strike. Slayers have couple good options. One level into any Slayer except Imitator Grant Studied Target, very useful ability. Arcane Enforcer allows arcane exploits like Dimensional Slide, Potent Magic and Wooden Flesh. Cross-Blooded Sorcerer 1 level deep unlocks 2 Bloodlines and Sorcerer bonus feat, making it fantastic investment for spellcasters. Note that 2nd Bloodline unlocks only class skills and spells, but through mythic abilities 3rd Bloodline can be unlocked. Arcane Bloodline increases DC of metamagic spells by 1, Fae increases DC of joke type spells, Infernal increases DC of charm spells by 2. You could also go 3 same element based draconic bloodline like fire for example to add plus 3 to elemental damage die for each spell of that element. One level into war priest shield bearer grants shield bash feat. Weapon focus feat, sacred weapon ability, 2 blessings of which enshrouding darkness from darkness domain is particularly useful and proficiency with martial weapons and all types of armor. One level into wizard elemental specialist unlocks ability to convert any element into chosen one, for example acid arrow can do fire damage instead. Familiar is nice little addition too. Now we get to prestige classes. Student of War 1 level dip is not a bad choice. It can study an enemy and apply bonus to either AC, combat maneuver or attack and damage rolls. Two levels into this prestige class unlock setting intelligence modifier to armor class and bonus feat. Four levels into Dragon Disciple is God sent for strength based characters. With it we get Dragon Bite additional attack, plus 4 to strength and plus 2 to armor class. Lore Master is something else, with this prestige class secrets are unlocked. Most notable feature are improved critical hit feats that can increase critical hit range by significant amount, leading to attack rolls of 15 or even lower ones being critical hits. At every odd level into Lore Master another improved critical can be picked. One level into Stalwart Defender grants plus one to AC and unlocks defensive stance that immobilizes player but offers significant boosts such as plus two to attack rolls, damage rolls and armor class. That would be all for this one, hopefully this helps people with multiclassing. Please add more options and explanations in comments. Only good can come out of it. Thanks.